Hello, hello, people. Hi, good night. Welcome. <clears throat> Welcome back. Bienvenidos de nuevo. Vamos a dar un, un minutito a ver si alguien más se conecta. ¿Cómo han estado? ¿Qué tal de, de trabajo? Muy bien. Si yo les pregunto, ¿Where do you work? ¿Where do you work? For example, I work at Inglés Corporativo. Okay. Good night. I'm work at Banco a Bank. A bank. Daniel. Okay. Good. Oops. Alguien me falla ahí el micrófono. Joanna, where do you work? I work in bank. Uh, a bank. A bank. Mm, okay. What about you, Alexar? Where do you work? <clears throat> it's not listening. And Susana, where do you work, Susana? I am working in Banco, a bank. A bank. Co-workers. Yes. So you are co-workers. Yes. Okay. And Mr. Samsung. ¿Qué se me hizo? Se me perdió. Ahí está. I don't work uh, moment. Ah, you don't work. You <coughs> your name is Flor. Yes? Zelda. Flor is Zelda. Yes. Okay. You're not working. Good. And you, sir? <inaudible> Mister with the white shirt. Con la camiseta blanca y cositas rojas aquí. What's your name? My name is Ever. Ever, Ever. Where do you work, Ever? At a bank. A bank. Hey, bien. Vamos a ir a pedir algo ahí a bank. Tengo varios con conectes. <laughs> okay. And who else is there? Daniel Enrique. Yeah, yes. I'm Where here. do you work? Where do you work, Daniel? I'm working in. Ah, in sí. A, a bank. Yeah, yeah. Es que había quitado la la imagen. Roberto, Roberto Romero. Hello. Where do you work? I am work at bank. bank. Hey, only a bank. Ricardo, <laughs> Ricardo Caballero. Hello, 
Hey, no se vayan, con, se conectan y se van. No, no sean así. Ok. Bueno. Well, let's get started. Vamos a comenzar. So, welcome one more time to Inglés Corporativo. We are beginners one. Módulo o module beginners one. Vamos a compartir pantalla. Okay. Y... Ok. Vamos a comenzar hoy. Mm. ¿Qué pasó? Ok. Ok. Ahora, nuestro primer objetivo de hoy... Dice, by the end of this lecture, participants will be able to spell their names and of others. Al final de esta clase, los participantes serán capaces de deletrear, spell, deletrear sus nombres y los de otros. Otros, ok. Spell es deletrear. De spell their names, so you're gonna be able to spell your name and of others. Entonces, lo primero, vamos a aprendernos the alphabet. We are gonna practice the alphabet. Ok, tenemos un videito por aquí en la plataforma to practice the alphabet. Vamos, vamos. Vamos a cerrar esto. Ok. Veamos este video y luego trabajamos. Hi everyone, in this class we're going to learn the English alphabet. We'll do this by listening and repeating. Let's get started. Um, on the screen you can see the English alphabet. I would like for you to listen to me and observe the way I move my lips and my mouth for each letter. A B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Now, I would like for you to listen to a quick audio program and repeat. It's recommended that you practice as many times as necessary, 10 at least, and make sure that you are pronouncing correctly. Listen and practice. A B 
B. C. C. D. D. E. F. G. H. I. J. K. L. M. N. O. P. Q. R. S. T. U. V. W. X. Y. Z. Now, what I would like for you to do is to practice expressing your name and spell it out. For example, my name is Joe. That's J O E. And let me go ahead and write that. Um, my name is Joe. And we're going to spell it out. That's J O E. My last name is Science. Okay. And let me go ahead and spell it out. That's S A E N Z. Spell the names of at least 10 folks. For example, your children, wife, parents, etc. I'll give a quick example of that. My daughter's name is Allison. That's A L L I S O N and record yourself on the following website bookroo.com after that you should save it and share the link on the discussion forums the idea is to get feedback from the instructor and your peers let me show you uh, how that website works if you go to this website bookroo.com I'm gonna go ahead and put that on the new window here a new tab um, you will see the website uh, you should click on this icon that says click to record it's gonna ask you to connect to your microphone you go ahead and say allow it's recording at this time once you're finished recording you click stop you can listen to it and um, after you do that you can save on click here to save it's going to give you this link and this is the link that you're going to copy and then you're going to share this link on our discussion forums okay and uh, now let's practice here with the the conversation okay let me raise this and enlarge <clears throat> okay, I, I want to practice this uh, conversation. Listen, I'm going to read this conversation. So please pay attention and then we're going to practice it. What's your name? I'm Sarah Connor. Is that? S-A-R-A-H? Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? 
C O N N O R? No, it's C O N N E R. Okay. Okay, let me open up your microphones. What's your name? Okay, now listen and repeat after me, please. Javier. Uh, Alguien está usando estas herramientas y está manchando la, la pantalla. Dejen de hacerlo, por favor. Okay, let's practice. Repeat after me, please. Repeat and después de mí. Uh, what's your name? What's your name? I'm Sarah Connor. I'm Sarah Connor. Is that S A R A H? Is that S A R A H? Yes, that's right. Yes, that's right. right. How do you spell your last name? Connor? No. Perdón, perdón, perdón. de nuevo. Va de nuevo. How do you spell your last name? How do you spell your last name? C-O-N-N-O-R? C-O-N-N-O-R? No, it's C O N N E R. No, no, it's C O N E R. Okay. Vamos a volver ahí en un momento. Quiero que revisemos el alfabeto. Vamos a revisar el alfabeto una vez más, ¿ok? Repeat after me. A. 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 B. 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 C. 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 D. D. E. 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 F. 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 G. 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 H. 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 I, 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 J, J, K, 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 L, 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 M, 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 N, 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 O, 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 P, 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 Q, 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 Q R, R, S, 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 T, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z, Ok, muy bien. Ahora vamos a ver. Quiero que me deletre, me digan, ¿cuál es esta? What's this? A. This? E. 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 This? A. A. I. Vamos a ver. Okay, muy bien. ¿Verdad? No confundamos, ¿verdad? A, I, 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 I
I. Okay. A. E. I. I. A ver, otras que confunden también. A ver, esta. G. 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 J. 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 Y. 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 Ok. G. J. J. Y. 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 A ver. G. 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 Y. 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 J. J. G. G. J. J. Y. Y. I. I. A. A. E. E. Ok, muy bien. Otras que suelen confundir o da problemas algunas veces es this. K. K. Q. Q. K. A. Q. Ok. Muy bien. That's right. ¿Alguna pregunta con el alfabet? No. I know. No. 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 Ok. Volvamos entonces por acá. ¿Verdad? Ok. Ahí en el grupo de WhatsApp les he puesto esta conversación. Vamos a practicar una vez más. I am A. Yo soy A. Y ustedes son B. B. Ok. All right. All right. Bien. Yo comienzo. Uh, what's your name? I am yeah. Sarah Connor. Is that S A R A H? Yes. 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 That's right. Right. How do you spell your last name? C O N N O R? No. No, it's C O M A E R. Okay, muy bien. Ahora comienzan ustedes, okay? One, two, three. What? What's, What's your name? name? I'm Sarah Connor. Is that C A R A H? Yes, that's right. How do you spell your last name? C O N N O R R R. No, it's C O N N E R. Okay. Bien. Ahora los voy a colocar en grupos y quiero que practiquen esta conversación con sus nombres. ¿Ok? okay. Con sus nombres. Okay. Right. ¿Ya? Uh. Por ejemplo, a ver, ¿alguien quiere practicar conmigo para una muestra? Ya. Yeah. Usuario. ¿Quién dijo yo? Yo. Yo, ok. Usuario. What's your name, okay. usuario? My name is Jonathan. Ok, Jonathan. Bien. Entonces, yo comienzo preguntándote. What's your name? I am Jonathan Argueta. Is that J-O-N-A-T-A-N? No. Is J A O M A T A M. How do you spell your last name? 
J H O N A T A M. Your last name. How do you spell your last name? Uh, my last name is A R G U E E A. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Jonathan. Ok, eso es lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? En, en, los, en los grupos. ¿Ok? Ok. Bien, voy a poner, vamos a ver cuántos estamos. Bueno, ahí se han conectado al menos. Vamos a ver si, si logramos hacer parejas. Ok. Entonces, cuando reciban la uh, invitación, permítanme que alguien dice que no puede activar su micrófono. Quiero ver si acá está. Activar todo. Mar Marvin Lara. Pero yo los tengo todos activados. Ya le di varias veces acá activar todos. Ahí están, todos los otros están ya ahorita. Ahora sí. Ok. Vamos a las sesiones. Entren a las sesiones entonces, por favor. Y practican. En WhatsApp está la conversación. Ahí he puesto la imagen del alfabeto con la conversación para que ahí puedan seguirla, ¿verdad? Como modelo. La primera okay. pestaña que aparece. O la, primera sí, la, la primera imagen ahí en, en el día de hoy. ¿Ok? Yeah. Ok. Yeah. Trabajen. Okay. ¿Qué? Este, tu mamá a mí me trata como una sirvienta. ¿Qué? Aquí lo tienen que no se oiga. Mm. A ver. Sí, a mí no me tocó pareja. Ahí ya, ya, ya vamos a asignarlo a alguno. <risa> bueno, está bien. ¿Qué pasó aquí? Aquí está, participantes. Oh my God. Grupos pequeños. Bueno, vamos a asignar a uno acá. Entren, por favor, Samali, Ricardo, Javier, Javier, entre a la sesión de Grupo Pequeño, por favor, recibió la invitación. No le escucho, Javier. A ver si puedo yo. No, yo no puedo reiniciar su micrófono. Abra su micrófono, Javier. Eh, no me cayó nada. Me sacó de un solo. Voy a ver si... Voy a moverlo a otro grupo. A ver si así puede entrar. Mm. 
Okay.
Creo que entro. Ay, no sé. Ay, no sé si. que nosotros no habíamos hecho como que lo vos estaba. Yo soy foto de mí. Ok, bienvenido de nuevo. Welcome. Okay. Hi. Okay. Um, hi. Voy a armar grupos diferentes ahora. Vamos a, a rotar, ¿verdad? A cambiar para practicar con alguien más. Ok, vamos a volver a crear. A, B, C, D, e. Bien, voy a crear de nuevo los grupos, espero que, como esto lo hace el programa, espero que todos queden con alguien diferente. Si por casualidad quedan con la misma persona, pues ni modo, volver a practicar. Ok. Entren por favor a la invitación que les llega de Saida, Nilton, Jacinto. Besaida, ok, Samali, entra en la reunión por favor, ah, esta niña se me salió.
Somali. Decida, ¿por qué se salió? Vuelva a entrar. Bueno, la voy a volver a ubicar. Entre, por favor, Besaida, esa invitación que recibe para trabajar en parejas. Besaida, me escucha. Okay, welcome back. Bien, veo que algunos como que les cuesta entrar a la reunión del grupo pequeño, ¿verdad? Pero tienen que tratar de, de hacerlo, porque si no me dejan a, a uno que otro solos. Entonces es importante que todos entremos a esas reuniones para practicar. Ok, let's continue now. Uh, tenemos otro video. Bueno, tenemos un ejercicio por aquí. Vamos a hacerlo rápido. Ok, en este ejercicio dice, escuche las cinco conversaciones. Aquí hay cinco conversaciones y luego selecciona la opción correcta para cada una. Solo se los voy a mostrar y los voy a dejar para que eso lo hagan después ustedes en casa. Ok, tienen este audio. Lo van a escuchar. Sí. Acá no abre, tienen que irse acá para que lo abren otra ventana el audio. 
y escucharlo. Aquí ya nos lo abrió. Vamos a ver si estamos reproduciendo el audio. Sí. How do you spell the names? Listen and check the correct answers. One. Your name is John Lee? That's right. And how do you spell your first name, Mr. Lee? It's J-O-N. Okay. Thank you. Entonces, number one, dice, dice, van a escoger. ¿Cuál es, cuál es la, del, el deletreo correcto? Okay, what is the correct spelling? J-O-N or J-O-N-H. De acuerdo a, los, a lo que escucharon. Okay, se los dejo ahí. Number two. Two. Sarah Brown. Your first name is spelled S-A-R-A-H? No, my name is spelled S-A-R-A. I'm sorry, could you repeat that? Yes, it's S-A-R-A. -A. Got it. Thanks. Okay. So, ¿cuál de los dos es la correcta? Hola. Three. My name is Stephen Jones. Thank you. Stephen. That's S T E V. No, it's spelled S T E P H E N. Oh, excuse me. S T E P H E N. That's right. Okay. Okay. Four. Your name, please. It's Catherine Simpson. Is that K-A-T-H-E-R-I-N-E? -E? No, it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Oh, so it's K-A-T-H-R-Y-N. Thank you, Ms. Simpson. Okay. Five. And what's your first name, please? It's Chris. Is your name spelled C-H-R-I-S? No, it's spelled K-R-I-S. Chris with a K. Chris with a K. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Verdad? Ahí lo tienen en su plataforma. Ya les dije cómo lo van a hacer. Lo escuchan de nuevo y contestan y revisan. Ok. Uh, ¿Alguna pregunta hasta acá? No. No questions. No. Very good. Ok. Very good. Ok. Entonces vamos nada más a plantear la siguiente parte, que es el, el verbo to be. Solo lo vamos a plantear y mañana lo vamos a ver a fondo. ¿Ok? Ok. Vamos a ver este video. Y luego mañana quizás lo conversamos. Hi everyone. In this class you'll learn how to form statements and questions using the verb to be. Let's get started by looking at the image on your screen. I would like to start by explaining the verb to be which corresponds to each pronoun. As you can see, towards the left hand side of the chart you can see the pronoun I that will be equals to M for the pronouns you we and they you're going to use are and for the pronouns he she and it then uh, we're going to use is so um, if we look at the examples 
I'm Jennifer Miller. This is the same thing as saying I am Jennifer Miller. You can see the meaning of those contractions towards the right hand side of the screen. Now let's try to make sense of this by looking at the examples on the chart. I'm Jennifer Miller. You're in my class. She's in our class. Jennifer is in our class. He's over there. Steven is over there. It's my math book. It's Miller. My last name is Miller. In order to understand this, you need to follow this particular rule that I'm going to display here um, on this document. Let me just change the size. One second. All right. Uh, and we're going to try to make sense of it, right? The subject uh, or pronoun is the first thing that we're going to have in order to form sentences. So, for example, I is a subject. And as we saw here, we can see that the verb to be to use whenever we use the pronoun or the subject I will be am. I am. And the complement is just other words that are used. So, for example, I am Joe. So we got a subject, the verb to be, and then some kind of complement. Uh, let's give a, another example. I, uh, the verb to be, I am. And what is the complement to that? I'm going to say an English teacher. OK, let me give another example. Uh, now I'm going to um, give an example with he. He is the subject of our sentence. Uh, and um, if you remember uh, for that, we're going to use the verb to be is. He is. And we're going to say uh, Mario. That's his name. Um, he. And we're going to say he is. Um, uh, mechanic. He is at work. Uh, let me go ahead and give an example with the pronoun day. Uh, and they are my co-workers. Now let's learn how to form yes or no questions using the verb to be. Let's look at this example that you see here on this chart. Are you Stephen Carson? That's a question. The way you respond to that question is by saying yes I am or no I'm not. Uh, then there's one last question there. How are you? We're going to focus on forming this yes or no questions using the verb to be. As I explained previously, um, I'll show you how to form statements using the verb to be, where we use the subject, the verb to be, and the complement. Um, what we're going to do next is we're going to do we're going to follow something very similar, with the exception that we're going to form questions. So I'm going to copy this formula that I show you, and I'm going to paste it here because I want you to see the relation between the two. What we're going to do essentially is we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun. Okay, so we're going to move this verb to be before the pronoun, and that's how you form questions. Um, so look at the example: Are you Stephen Carson? We move the verb to be before the pronoun you. Okay, so our formula needs to change uh, now. Instead of uh, the subject at the beginning, we're going to say that that's the verb to be at the beginning. And then we're going to say that that's the uh, subject uh, or the pronoun. Okay, and then it's going to follow some kind of complement. So we're going to take the same examples here and simply change the order. And that's basically how we form questions. Um, so I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it here at the bottom. Um, and as I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to change the verb to be to the beginning and we're going to put the pronoun there. So let's look at that. This one changes here.
and there we go. So the first question is, am I Joe? Yeah, obviously you need to change things like spelling at the beginning with capitals. Am I Joe? Okay. Um, and the next one, I am an English teacher. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the order and I'm going to say, am I an English teacher? All right, and then we put a question mark at the end. So how would we form the next one? Um, he is. Okay. Uh, vamos a detenernos acá porque es es hora de de la siguiente de la siguiente clase. Okay, y mañana continuamos en esta parte del verbo to be. Okay. Trabaja en los ejercicios en la plataforma. Okay, that's all right. Okay. Have a good night. Hey. Bye bye, everyone. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Good night, everybody.